Hello and welcome to another episode of Dear Kev, the show where I give you the best, worst advice on the planet. Today's questions come from six brown chicks. Let's get this party started. I grew up with a loving mother and older sisters. I'm a domesticated man. Met a great woman. She uses my bathroom and then calls me for me to come wipe her butt. She didn't want to mess up her nails. I told her to go. She said all her dudes wipe her. Is this a thing? WTF. Absolutely a thing. Listen, do you know how many men would be happy to wipe the butt of a woman? I mean, it's not a thing for regular people, regular men. I wouldn't wipe my wife's butt. You know, women stink. They, they eating the same greens you eating. That, them ham hocks. Oh, it don't come out clean. I had a hard time wiping my kids' butt. Once they came off of milk and went to solid food, I was like, Who, who man is this? I'm going to keep it two Virgils with you. You stink. Okay? Now, listen. It's a thing because men would do anything to be with women. If it means wiping her butt crack and looking at it, folding, wipe, look, fold, wipe, look, fold, wipe, discard, look, of course. Would you please lay next to me if I will wipe your butt? Will you please kiss me in the mouth if I wipe your butt? Sometimes I don't want to wipe my own butt. You ever go to wipe, slip, get some on the palm of your hand right here, and you're like, oh, come on, man. You're 37. How did you slip? How did it get on the sides? It's not supposed to be on the sides. Things happen, but that's only something that happens to people, not to me. But I couldn't wipe another person's butt. Come on, man. But I understand why dudes do. They'll do anything for sex, anything. Next question. I met her on Tinder. Five months into our relationship, she has a baby. She says I should have known she was pregnant. She's a big girl and hit it well. And I should step up and take care of some other man's baby. Don't want to leave her, but not ready for this. Help. I forgot to put my glasses on. Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing about pregnancy. There's never the right time to answer. Okay? When I was in college, first day, we are dropping Melissa off in her dorm. My, my mother-in-law looks at this girl. Elevator doors are closing. She's like, oh, how far along are you? And she's like, I'm not pregnant. Ding. We then have to ride the elevator quiet to the 13th floor, 14th floor, 15th floor, wherever Melissa was staying, in complete silence. And from that moment on, I realized there's never a good time to ask a woman if she's pregnant. I don't care if you have a baby's head poking out of your vulva. If you are crowning, I will not ask if you're pregnant. If you are delivering, if I'm a, if I'm an OBGYN and I am delivering your child, I will not ask if you're pregnant. If I'm the one checking for the heartbeat and doing the sonogram. I will not ask if you're pregnant. I will not confirm your pregnancy. I'll neither confirm nor deny those allegations of pregnancy. Because if you're wrong, you can't come back from that. So for you, man, listen. You're not wrong for not knowing she's, she was pregnant because you're never supposed to ask. And if you uh, want to leave now, that's fine. Okay? There's no wrong time to leave a baby that ain't yours. Now, you're... you're um, probably gonna feel a little bad you're like dang man that was kind of bad but when you leave draw her an amazing picture paint a picture of her and the baby okay and if you don't know how to paint you can learn on skillshare oh yeah skillshare is an amazing online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people explore new skills deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity okay skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life and all the circumstances that come with it it's always the right time to stay inspired, express yourself, and connect with a community of millions. I've been, uh, I've been checking out Skillshare for a long time. I've actually signed up to learn how to paint on Skillshare just as a way to express my artic art artistic, artistic passions. Okay, I spent the whole week, um, earlier this week, buying art from black artists. And then I was like, man, I want to paint. I used to love to paint as a kid. I would be drawing stuff, but it sucked. So right now, I've been practicing on oil painting, okay, and acrylic painting. I started acrylic painting basics today, and I'm going to be painting. I'm going to show you guys some of my artistic greatness in a couple months. I can't show it to you while it's trash, but I, when I get dope, I'm going I'm to get it, and I'm going to sell it to myself and be like, yo, this painting went for three grand, but it's just me buying it, but then nobody will know that I'm lying. <laughs> Explore classes that may help you express what you're feeling through creative self-discovery. Spontaneous acts of creativity may help break up the routine of the day spent indoors. Explore workshops, classes, and more. 
Explore your creativity and get two free months of premium membership at Skillshare.com slash deer. That's two whole months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. Get started and join a day by heading to Skillshare.com slash deer. That's two free months of unlimited access to thousands of classes at Skillshare.com slash deer. I miss that. I was all alone last week, Josh. Yeah, I was naked. <laughs> my first love, my first love came back. I was dealing with my baby daddy, but cut him off for, for him. He moved in. Things are great. I posted our picture and he went off. He said, I'm just staying here. I'm not just a racial slur on your couch. Oh, I'm sorry. He went off him. I'm just staying here. I'm just a racial slur on your couch. This ain't a relationship. I'm heartbroken. Advice. Never assume, because when you assume, you make an assumption out of you and me. Now listen, if you want to post, okay, a picture of a man in a relationship, you have to ask a couple of clarifying questions. One, do you mind if I post a picture of us? Two, do you mind if this picture is romantic? Three, will posting this picture make any woman out there feel some type of way? Four, will your mom be okay with posting this picture? Five, are we in a relationship? Six, are we in a relationship that allows pictures? Seven, are we in a relationship that allows pictures to be posted on Instagram? Eight, are we in a relationship that allows pictures to be posted on Instagram on stories or main grid? Nine, if we're allowed to post on the main grid, how long can I keep it up? Ten, if we break up, do I have to delete these pictures? A posted picture on Instagram is an enunciation to the world, also known as an announcement. You can't just be willy-nilly telling people that. Also see um, people changing their relationship on relationship status on Facebook. That's not as even uh, as bad as Instagram because sometimes you can put it's complicated, yes, no, or there's no picture. But on Instagram, if you post a picture too early, somebody's going to be deeming him like, oh, really, this you? What are we? And now you cause a whole bunch of problems. So before you post, ask. you never be wrong. Next question. I'm dating a pro clown. He made good money doing birthday parties, etc. But since the lockdown, he's been dressing up and leaving the house, but there's nowhere for him to go. He said performing makes him happy. Being here with you brings me down. He also cheats. Advice. <laughs> the funniest part of that is you you started off saying I'm dating a professional clown. <laughs> because clowns always use as a pejorative term, you know, you act dumb, you act like a clown. And this man actually is is a clown. He literally out here going, er, ee, er, ee. you know, an angry woman in a van once called me a clown. And you know what I did? I put a clown suit on and I honked my clown nose. And uh, I wasn't even a professional clown because I didn't get paid for it. The Joker was a professional clown, but he sucked at it. And he had a gun fall out of his pants <laughs> at a children's hospital. Anyway, I digress. Uh, <laughs> How can I give you an advi uh, advice? How can you ask for advice when you're dating a professional clown? Like, what? <laughs> If you do clownery, don't be mad when the clown comes back to bite, okay? <laughs> the thought of him getting ready for work, like, man, this white makeup is great. And then he goes out and cheats on you? <laughs> Where do you buy adult clown supplies when you're not in uh, Halloween season? Where do you go? Where do you go to buy pro clown supplies? I'm really curious about like clown paint, clown makeup. Wherever you go, honey will help you save. We all shop online a lot, but you know you can make online shopping even better. You can with Honey. Honey is the free shopping tool that saves you money online. Honey automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them to your cart, which makes online shopping finally finally feel as easy as it's supposed to be. Now, I just actually went online to buy something, buy some new shoes because I'm not supporting Virgil Abloh and Off-White anymore. And the honey thing came up and it reminded me that I'm saving money without even thinking about it. And that's the most amazing thing. Did you know that honey supports over 30,000 stores online? And they're adding more every day. Users love honey. That's why it has over 100,000 five-star reviews on the Google Chrome store. Not using honey is literally passing up free money. It's free to use and installs in just a few seconds. Plus, it's now part of the PayPal family. Get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash deer. That's joinhoney.com slash deer. deer. Next question. <laughs> I forgave Jay for cheating on me last summer, which led to me stabbing him in the back 
with a fork at IHOP. Now I'm feeling that he's trying to creep again. The side chick moved on our block and my son said Jay cut her grass behind my back. Am I tripping? Advice. No. You're not tripping. Let me tell you why. Nobody enjoys cutting the grass. It sucks. Grass gets everywhere. You smell like grass. You get it all in your nostrils and stuff. It's completely trash. You don't even want to cut your own grass. Okay. I used to have a lawn mowing business when I was 14 because people didn't want to cut their grass. The fact that he is cutting her grass means he's eating her food. What word did you feel in there? <laughs> You're absolutely right in tripping. Kick him out. Stab him in the back with another fork. The fact that you stab somebody with a fork at IHOP in a public place, you were like, country fried steak and, and egg? Wait, you cheated. Eek. They smile in your face all the while trying to take your place. Backstabbers over blueberry pancakes. Uh, <laughs> Cutting her grass is such a specific thing. But I get it. You're right. You're not tripping. Stab him in the back with a spoon next time. Next question. I'm dating an older coworker. He's a janitor, so he can't mess with my money. He has a 17-year-old daughter who's the devil. She stole his credit card, blamed me, fights with me and him. He said, now, not mine, Natasha. She wouldn't do that. I'm real close to beating their advice. Here's all I'll say. It's wrong to fight children. You dare not strike a child, a minor. Well, I mean, what's wrong with you? You can't attack a child. Now, on her 18th birthday, you say, look, happy birthday. I'm sorry for everything we went through. Here's a piece of cake. She goes to blow the candles out, soccer in the face, because now she's an adult and you won't get in trouble for attacking a minor. You're 18. You can get these 18 year old hands. Bop, bop. Hit her with the blick, blick, blocky. Sometimes kids need to get beat up, okay? You talking real grown off the side of your neck. Now you got to get punched in the side of your neck. You know, it hurts when people get punched in the side of the neck. So punch her in the side of the neck and let her know what's what. And then um, when you get arrested, I will do nothing because you shouldn't take this advice. Thank you for tuning in to Dear Kev, the show where I give you the best, worst advice on the planet. We're here every Friday. Thank you. Black Lives Matter. Bye.